We're less than three weeks away now from this Sergei Kovalev and the yard fight. And we still haven't had a press conference. That's not normal, people. I'm starting to wonder whether this fight is even going to happen at all. Anthony Yard is not some late replacement opponent. No, this is Kovalev's mandatory who he's known about for several months. We've already had one date for this fight cancelled. It got pushed back this time to August 24th. But again, no press conference so far. Yeah, they've put out some little posters online and there's a telephone number where you can supposedly get tickets. But it's very, very strange for a reigning world champion at the level of a Sergei Kovalev to be having a fight like this in his hometown, no less, and not even have a press conference less than three weeks out. Very strange. I would not be surprised. I'm not saying it's not going to happen, but I wouldn't be surprised if this fight doesn't happen on August 24th. And on top of the lack of a press conference, you've got the fact that Sergei Kovalev has been involved in some very disturbing incidents over the past year or so. The latest one allegedly occurred just a couple of weeks back where he was alleged to have got into an altercation on an airplane that got him kicked off the flight. And when you take into account the fact that Kovalev has had all these rumors circulating about him for several years now, that he has an issue with alcohol, allegedly, when you add that into the mix, does it explain some of these disturbing incidents outside the ring that Kovalev's been involved in or alleged to have been involved in? You tell me. The point is, Team Kovalev at this point seem to be in a little bit of disarray. And all of this looks good for Team Yard because if the fight does go ahead, where's Sergei Kovalev's mind going to be at? Will he be fully focused? The more problems that Kovalev has got in camp, I mean, he's, he's still got this court case hanging over his head. That hasn't been resolved yet. And obviously I brought that up in the lead up to his rematch with Alvarez and he still went in there and put on a tremendous performance against Alvarez. So it clearly didn't affect him in that particular fight, but everybody has their breaking point. So the more issues that Kovalev has outside the ring, you would imagine the better Anthony Yard's chances are of winning this fight. I don't care how good Kovalev is, how experienced he is. He's only a human being. And you know, if you don't prepare the right way, if you're not in the right frame of mind, you can lose fights, which on paper, you're not supposed to lose. That can happen. I've got no doubt in my mind at all that Anthony Yard has got the punching power to hurt Sergei Kovalev. And vice versa, of course. Kovalev, vastly more experienced than Yard and fought at a higher level, more proven, more tested. We know all these things. But somebody, can't remember who it was now, it might have been one of the commentators on BT, but they pointed out that, uh, no, actually it was Richard Dwyer. Sorry, let me give credit where it's due. Richard Dwyer, in his recent video about this fight, said that Kovalev has never faced a puncher like Anthony Yard as a pro. I agree. I know Anthony Yard has only fought very low quality opposition, but based on the eye test, you know, what I'm seeing when Yard is hitting opponents, the sound of his punches, the effect they have when people hit him, I suspect that Anthony Yard is at least as hard a puncher as Alvarez, probably even harder. So I think if he lands on Kovalev clean, he's definitely got the power to knock him out. Last time Kovalev fought in his hometown, to my knowledge, was when he faced Isaac Chalemba. Didn't look great in that fight. Isaac Chalemba, awkward, tricky, tough, doesn't hit as hard as Anthony Yard, not as fast as Anthony Yard, not as athletically gifted as Anthony Yard. Far more experienced, of course. And look, there are lots of questions that need to be answered about Yard. Loads of questions. I'm still interested to know why he's been kept away from punches his whole career so far, Anthony Yard. And for two, 
Yes, they've moved him slowly because he's only had 12 amateur fights, but they've moved him even slower, far slower than many other fighters with a similar level of experience. I mean, Dylan White only had about seven or, or 10 amateur boxing matches. I know he did kickboxing and stuff before that, but in terms of boxing, he only had about seven amateur fights. I think O'Hara Davis had something like 17 or 18 amateur fights. So these are all guys with a similar level of amateur experience to Anthony Yard, who were all moved far quicker as pros. Now, obviously, it didn't work out for O'Hara Davis. It did work out for uh, Dylan White. Uh, I mean, even historically, you look at guys like Oliver McCall in the heavyweight division. You look at even Hassim Ratman. Look into their amateur backgrounds. They didn't have many amateur fights. They went on to become heavyweight champions and whatnot. Now, again, I don't want to get into this whole debate about whether Tunde Ajayi has moved Anthony Yard the right way. The proof is in the pudding at the end of the day. We'll see if this fight takes place, how Anthony Yard does. The point I'm making is it's left a lot of ambiguity. It's left a lot of questions on the table about Yard because of the fact that he's been kept away from stiff competition. So I'm well aware that Anthony Yard on paper is not really supposed to win this fight. But when you take into account all the outside circumstances going on with Kovalev and the uncertainty surrounding whether this fight's actually going to take place, it's already been pushed back once. And here we are less than three weeks out. Is it going to get pushed back again? Will it be cancelled altogether? Will Anthony Yard end up fighting for the vacant belt? if Kovalev gets stripped against somebody else. I've spoken about this in the past, and at this point, that scenario is looking more and more likely. If any of you are Russian or you have knowledge of you know, the Russian boxing scene, let me know if you've got any information on what's going on with this fight. Why haven't we had a press conference? Is there a press conference scheduled? Is there any coverage of this uh, on television in Russia what on earth is going on here people <laughs> but like I say whatever is going on it can only be good for Team Yard that's the way I see it if the fight gets cancelled Yard will almost certainly fight a lesser opponent than Kovalev so that's a good look for him um, and if the fight goes ahead I have to imagine Kovalev with all this stuff going on outside the ring may not be as focused as he should be, may not be as well prepared as he should be. I mean, I should have done my due diligence, to be fair, and gone on Kovalev's Instagram or whatever and tried to see if there's any recent training footage. Is he in the middle of camp? Because the story the other day when he was on that plane flight, it made it sound as though maybe he wasn't in the middle of camp. <laughs> you know, So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. It's happening, I'm out.